check your moon rising venus and jupiter you guys keep in mind the energies are fluid so it can go vice versa don't get hung up on the signs or genders if you're new to the channel please take advantage of your free free personal readings your free personal readings they're just down below in the description box they have the first two links there are several others down there as well but highly recommend the top two links as they are so amazing um and if you're trying to book a reading that's the third link okay also my social media is on that website as well um you would have to message me for personal readings for um with me okay so if you're on that website please click contact and you could either text me or email me okay and just let me know okay what your sign is as i work with astrology and i also work with numerology so numbers dates all that stuff is absolutely amazing to uh, mention just let me know okay um and yeah um social media platforms are on that website as well so you guys can follow if you are into um free stuff i mean who doesn't love free um i will be doing a giveaway um this year um for christmas so if you guys want to follow over there please do okay also my ctfo page which is changing the future outcome is on that page as well on that website so all you got to do is follow the little letter follow the yellow brick road <laughs> um yeah all right you guys let's see what's going on for my taurians my beautiful flowers my beautiful flowers oh my venus sign my venus sign all right let me go ahead oh wow we have three coming out here so this would be the first card coming out someone in the eight of swords energy and then we have the Queen of Cups in reverse, the temperance, how you're being seen, could be connecting to a Sagittarius or a Pisces. You have Emperor. Oh, honey. Emperor in reverse, you guys. Wow. <clears throat> oh, then we have your opposite. Okay, that one just fell. Dramatic changes coming towards you guys in terms of success, jealousy, okay? People who see your success, you could be dealing with your opposite or an Aries. We have two major arcanas here, the Emperor mirroring the Death card. Um, very significant placements actually with the how they feel about you, how they see about you. So um, the Temperance card is also a major arcana. It's how you're being seen at this time with the Two of Wands. Um, being between worlds. So Taurus, get ready because something big is coming, okay? Something major because this card fell down. It could be having to do with a fire sign. I am getting it to Twin Flame, you guys. Others of you, I'm hearing it's a divine counterpart, a soulmate, okay? You could be seeing 222 two, two on the clock quite a bit. This person is, um, you. I'm feeling like for some of you, you're moving away from somebody who could be an air sign, okay? An air sign or a... Um, I heard air sign or water sign you're moving away from could be an Aries for some of you okay um, I heard Scorpio um, but a fire sign is coming towards you okay I feel like they're coming towards you here this is the outcome and it's in the nostalgic position it's in the um it's mirroring nostalgic card you're no longer feeling nostalgic about someone Okay, I don't think it's a fire sign. I feel like you're going towards a fire sign. You're no longer feeling nostalgic about a Pisces, an uh, Aries, Scorpio. I heard Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? But um, you're moving into something really beautiful here, okay? With the Princess of Pentacles mirroring the um, Eight of Wands, it is in the obstacle position. So you're going to have a lot of people, you're going to have to face a lot of people um, who are jealous of your success okay you could be standing up in front of an audience um where some people are not happy for you i am getting um you could be dealing with um 
someone of significance i am getting it's a friend you guys okay this person's in the eight of swords about you because you've moved on you moved away from them um with the queen of cups too i am getting like this person's drinking a lot it's in the reverse i don't like that um four of cups too it's like missed opportunity someone who you really cared about this is someone who you genuinely cared about taurus okay um <clears throat> Yeah, you have two eights in your reading, you guys, with eighth house here, Scorpio. You have eight of eight of swords and eight of wands. So a lot of anxiety around your transformation here. You could have anxiety about your transformation. You can have anxiety about the shoes that you're having to feel. Um, these are your own shoes, by the way. It's like your purpose, your destiny, something that you've been having to do, you've been needing to do for a long time. It's uncomfortable with the death card. It's like Stepping into your north node with the um, emperor in reverse. And there's a lot of energy around my way of the highway in how they feel about you. For some people, I am getting like, um, they want you to stay there. I'm hearing someone stay, stay with me. Stay with me and be, be, be miserable. I'm hearing miserable because this person is drinking um, the queen of cups, but you're moving forward. Okay, for some of you, I feel like these are audience members. I don't know why I'm getting. Maybe you have a long, a large following. Um, I feel like I'm going to throw up, to be honest. Like, I feel like this is something that is so overwhelming. You might have found out some information about somebody who has you in the Eight of Swords. You do have two young energies here with the Princess of Pentacles and the Princess of Cups. There's... Um, similar energy here too to the leo reading i just did so if you're dealing with a leo check out that reading because i am getting a lot of energy around jealousy here um somebody withholding something is also what i'm hearing but um the four of cups is in the um it's in the reverse and it's underneath this queen of cups so there's a lot of emotional energy here um in regards to how someone feels about you I get that it's someone who's very manipulative, Taurus, okay? Um, they see that you're between worlds. I feel like this is scary. You have the temperance mirroring the death, okay? So this is transformation in spirituality. Um, ninth house and eighth house energy. Also, other people's money. You could have people wanting to invest in you um, at this time. Maybe invest in your business, okay? I am getting you need to invest in yourself, okay? Um, this is your opposite, the death card, um, this, the Scorpio card. So you could be dealing with someone who is um, a twin, who you could be moving towards. I am getting between worlds. I'm hearing enlightened, awoken. Okay, so yeah, with the temperance mirroring the two of wands being that it's between worlds. I feel like this is how you're being seen at this time. And this is sort of, I feel like someone's getting a rude, a rude awakening. Like I'm hearing a wake up call, like about you moving forward it could be a karmic okay um but you guys are unbothered by this you're focusing on praying i'm getting like there's some prayer here um you're asking your guides you're asking spirit to, to lead you where you are supposed to be oh my god i almost puked right now because i don't know why i'm just getting overwhelmed by the energy in this reading like somebody is not happy for you you know, this is fast-moving success, you guys. This could even speak about travel um, by air. So you could be relocating, but I am, because you have, um, I'm getting towards a fire sign. Wow. Aries is here really strong. Um, you're dealing with a Leo. Go check out that reading, okay? Because I feel like whatever it is um, that's keeping you, someone's trying to keep you bound. I don't know why I'm hearing. Someone's trying to keep you bound here. If you look at her, she looks like she's bound, right? She's got her hands tied. She's got her um, vision blocked. Someone's trying to block your third eye chakra. There could be some magic here. I mean, I mean I'm mean, i getting not so much that, but I'm hearing that someone is obsessed, you guys, okay? Obsessed. Look at this. Eight of Wands, Eight of Swords. There's eight, this, this is success, okay? And someone being obsessed about you moving on with the Two of Wands, how they see you. Two of Wands, how they see you. Look at how this is like, this is you walking down your path. And then these are the worlds that you're sort of, um, you could be choosing another path and not 
you could be between worlds, but like choosing a path that is not in alignment with either of these on the side, okay? Um, either of these worlds that are on the on each side of you. So you could be, it could be family meddling is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing family members, a mother and father, um, grandmother, grandfather, whoever this is. I, I'm getting, it could be even siblings. Um, I am getting just a lot of spirituality here. Moving, moving to um, higher ground is what I'm also hearing because it's going up. And this is because you chose yourself. You chose your your um, spiritual path. The Eight of Wands is here with the Temperance card, okay? And the um, Temperance card is in the position of how you're being seen. So listening to your guides, your angels are working behind the scenes to bring something forth um, that is your birthright, okay? I feel like there's a lot of hatred around this. A lot of... I, I'm not not so much hate not so much hatred but jealousy I am getting resentment too like friends who are not they're like oh god Taurus is leaving me behind they're gonna forget all about me um others of you um gosh that rain is really coming down can you hear it I had to turn my light on today because it was so dark in here yeah, it's like so gloomy outside anyway. Um you haven't you having to leave people behind and and this is for like your own good too. So it's not like you you don't owe anyone an apology. You don't owe anyone any like explanation, but there are people around you that want they want to know why, okay? Um four of cups in the reverse is like missed opportunity. Somebody is seeing you as an opportunity here. Um, this is romantic, you guys. This person drinks a lot, thinking about you. I feel like it's a twin. Oh my god, I feel like it's a twin. Because I don't know why I'm hearing, like, maybe you've, you walked away and you went to work on yourself. I am getting there's something around ghosting here. Um, I'm just getting unspoken truth. And, like, somebody went up, somebody went on their way to sort of create abundance for themselves, right? And they didn't leave any, like, note or, you know, letter. I'm just, like, I'm getting no... Someone left nothing, okay? Someone left nothing behind um, for anyone to find um, information. Like, I'm getting no breadcrumbs, nothing. Like, somebody left... Just left. I'm hearing it's... Like, you left, Taurus. You didn't say anything. Um, whether these are friends or mutual friends or um, a counterpart... You're working on something behind the scenes. I am getting very quietly. Someone is very silent about their um, projects, okay? And what it is I am hearing too, like this is bringing you into transformation. It was very uncomfortable. Um, you have the dark night of the soul energy here with the, air, the emperor. Some of you may have even resisted this transformation for a while. Just kind of thinking, you know, everything will be all right. If I just keep doing what I'm doing and some of you reached sort of some sort of epiphany that you can't keep going down that path. So what you did was you went down, you were listening to your guides, you were channeling, um, you may have even had dreams because, you know, this is like sleepless nights, nightmares um, that were leading you to like maybe even hurt, like maybe even had dreams about people betraying you is what I'm hearing. But um not necessarily that like i'm getting flying someone was flying in their dreams or you were seeing like animals in your dreams and i'm getting like they were biting you somebody's like they were this was like a harsh um communication between the divine and you like they were trying to push you nudge you towards your purpose and it's because some of you are resisting and now that you're there now that you've accepted it you have people around who are like jealous um they look at it like they look at you like it's easy and um like it's easy what you do and I, i'm just getting like they feel like they lost you okay um so there's a lot of that energy of being in the eight of swords and sort of wanting you to come back but only because they're comfortable with you there not because they need you not because they care for you not because they want the best for you just genuinely because they're comfortable with you being uncomfortable, which is, I don't know if that makes sense, but um, you stepping out of your comfort zone, you moving forward, and it was very uncomfortable. Um, you, you're being rewarded is what I'm hearing with Eight of Wands. Yeah, and, and this looks like too, for some of you, like success appearing overnight. 
So a lot of people who are external to you are wondering um, what exactly you did or some of them are even asking if you, some of them don't even think you deserve this, okay? But you have your angels here watching over you, protecting you. Um, they understand how uncomfortable it is to move forward and go after what it is you believe in, what your, what your heart is telling you to do. Um, there's a lot of guidance here, okay? I feel like though, um, yeah, there's definitely an energy around being missed, missed. Um, and someone wondering if they're ever going to have a chance with you again. It could be a Pisces for you because Pisces is here twice. Or an Aries. I heard Sag, okay. Um, a Cusper, Sag Scorpio. Um, I also heard Sag Libra. I'm sorry, Le Scorpio Libra. Um, I also heard Leo Cancer for some of you, okay. Um, don't know why that just jumped out at me, but you moving forward unapologetically and going and maybe even going back to school for some of you um you could even like change your major is what i'm hearing this is something very dramatic out of nowhere someone is going to change their major and people around you have a lot to say you know family members friends um i am getting there is something around discouragement so somebody is trying to maybe not try to but they are their intentions are not exactly pure when it comes to um, voicing their opinion they make it seem like they care but they actually are jealous okay so if you're like if you're inquiring with friends about what you should do if you're inquiring to um to see what they think about your career move or whatever this is it could be a relationship it could be a twin flame and they're saying oh go for oh forget about them forget about that career forget about this you're better at that um, listen to your heart, listen to your gut, okay, listen to your intuition, follow your instincts, because there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of stuff hidden behind the veil here with the, the Eight of Swords, this is like someone feeling trapped, you know, and I feel like it has to do with people pleasing as well, so Taurus, you can't please everybody, all you can do is be the best version of yourself for you, it starts with you, and furthermore, because of that, you know, raising the vibration of everyone around you, so, um, you, I feel like too, um, those who are jealous of you are going to end up loving you, which is so, I know, weird, but, um, they're going to, I feel like they're going to fall all over themselves. Like these are people who you never in a million years would think, um, would change their perspective when it comes to you. Like, I feel like you know who some of these people are, who are either in competition with you, they're jealous, um, Maybe they gave you like some bad advice on purpose. I don't know, but you're going to see a transformation within the collective of individuals you are surrounded with. Um, yeah, I feel like you guys are inspiring people too. Like, so, you know, by you walking to the, like moving to the beat of your own drum, you are inspiring people. So this is actually good. This is actually really positive for a lot of you. Um, it's going to start out real bumpy, and then you're going to see a smooth transition after, okay? Let me get one oracle message from the dragon oracle and see what our little ancestors um, might be saying. Maybe our angels, um, our guides. I'm a little fuzzy. It's, it's so gloomy here, you guys, and I'm tired, you know? When there's no sunshine, you, you, you become like fatigued. I don't know about you guys, but I get so tired. And it's been raining for a while. Okay, so we have Sunshine Yellow Dragon. You are the first to receive this card, by the way. Helps you to help animals. You are an earth sign. Um, serve animals. Heal, respect, and understand them. Maybe you guys are veterinarians of some sort. You could be a veterinarian, as an uh, animal doctor. Um, you're focusing on yourself. Maybe this is what you're going back to school for, or it has to do with something about healing. Maybe it's Reiki. Ooh, I like that. You could be a Reiki healer. Um, you could be thinking about healing animals through Reiki healing. See, people don't believe in that, but you know what? You have the temperance card here in a position of how you're being seen. That's ninth house spiritual spirituality okay so um 
it wouldn't surprise me too because it's like it's mirroring the death card which is transformation right so you guys um yeah you have pluto and jupiter trining each other in this reading you have pluto jupiter and mars energy here yes scorpio is pluto and mars aries is mars um so it's very chaotic okay but what what i'm also getting to what seems like a disappointment right now these are the building blocks okay i feel like a lot of things too i'm also hearing stones bricks that were thrown at you you built an empire with them so for some of you could be starting your own business you could be starting um uh, a metaphysical shop of some sort reiki healing right okay um you could even be yoga instructors or um yeah i'm hearing too like you're opening your own business and it does correlate to bringing animals um healing okay so for some of you, you may not think that right now, but it's the this path is leading you towards your destiny, okay? And there are going to be some naysayers, but you have to keep moving forward, okay? Now, I am getting twin flame energy here. Let's see what they have to say. I'm going to pull, see what our twins are saying here. Let's see what your twin's saying. Because I feel some of you are moving towards your twin. All right. We have I hide behind material things. Okay. We have life would feel empty without you by my side. I keep track of you online. Yeah. Somebody, this person could have anxiety about you too. Um, because of the eight of swords energy coming out first, the energy coming towards you. This could be the energy you're also embodying. Keep in mind because what you are attracting you can also be embodying right but i am because i am getting twin flame dynamic here too with the number eight um being highlighted here quite a few times okay especially with the death card that's eighth house um when you think of the number eight you think of infinity you, you think of everlasting um love you think of everlasting trials errors um transformation right so some of you guys, this person is keeping a, a quite a, they're keeping a lot, they're keeping like, I'm hearing this person's keeping, like taking notes. They're either, they're either um, researching you online or um, searching for you if you have deactivated all your accounts, okay? But um, their intention is to keep track of you, okay? For those of you who are dealing with the twin, they are not, they have not forgot about you. They are still keeping track of you. Um, again, I keep hearing unspoken truth. Somebody knows that they are your twin, even if they didn't tell you, even if they didn't, even if they acted like they didn't know, they know, okay? Um, for some of you, this person is planning, I'm hearing planning um, to come towards you with some sort of offer. This is something tangible. This is something materially um, that they're investing and it is all due to this connection. This is all because of you. They, uh, I feel like you're their muse, okay? But they are in the Eight of Swords here, okay? This person could be drinking a lot, which is sort of lowering their frequency. They're lowering, they're lowering their vibration, so they're not ready. So not, so they're not exactly well enough, okay, to um, be in your energy, be in your environment. They don't want to burden you with this, okay? Because they are drinking a lot, like with the missed opportunity here too. Um, it's in reverse. It's like there's another opportunity coming back in. But they want to be in their right mind before they come towards you. Okay, Taurus? All right, you guys. Um, that was your reading. Um, if you are new, take advantage of your free personal readings down below. They are the first two links, okay? And if you are trying to book a reading, that's the third link, okay? Again, those first two links are free. Take advantage of your, first, um, your personal readings. I love you guys so much. You have a wonderful weekend. Namaste.